Hi everyone, it's the Trophy Huntress here and in this video I'm going to show you how to solve the bell tower puzzles and the location of the tokens in Shenmue 3. So when you get access to Elder Year's house you need to find six tokens. So the first one that you can find this is alcohol, this one sorry. here of the alcohol. The next one is just around the corner. And is the moon token. This design. To get to the next ones, you need to move these cabinet things out of the way. The next token can be found in this cabinet here. And this is the fist token. Like design. The next one is in the cabinet next to it, third draw down, and there you find the sword token. It's a sword design. Moving on to the cabinet with the birdcage, the drawer straight underneath it, you'll find the crane token. It's a crane design. Then right next to that, you need to open the cabinet with a sliding door to find the final dragon token, token and dragon a piece of paper. It. There's a piece of paper with it. This might be a clue. Let's take them. So once you have all six tokens, you need to head to the bell tower in the village square. I've chosen to carry on at this point. Where does this key go? Leo, take a look. Hmm? There's something on the pillar. What the heck is this? Does this image mean something? So for some reason you have to start with this pillar here. I'm really not sure what that's a picture of. Is it a turtle? I'm not sure. Um, but you need to use the crane token in this pillar. <laughs> the way he shoves it in there, I was worried he's going to break it. Um, so the next one's a shield, so pretty obvious that you'll need to use the sword. Next one is the sun, so we're going to use the moon token. After that, we're going to use the alcohol with the steamed buns. After that, we are going to use the fist with the hand. And last but not least, it will be the dragon and the phoenix in this pillar here.
Now this is something else. Doesn't look like anyone's been here for a while. A hexagonal prism? This is a wheel repository. What's it for? You can find these in old temples. The monks keep sutras inside of them. Turning it once gets you through one sutra. But why is it here of all places? Then, let's take a look. It won't budge. So here you need to press L2 and zoom in on this panel here. And this is where you're going to insert the Sword of Seven Stars. Shenhua, isn't this... Just like the Sword of the Seven Stars. Do you think? So by inserting the sword, this will allow you to move the pillar in the middle, whatever you want to call it. Um, so this is where we need to use the paper no to help you. The it took me a little while to figure yes, out what the paper meant, but if you have a look at the sort of diamonds that are all around it, that is your keypad on the right side. So left is circle and the right hand one is the square button so if you have a look the first three are the circle then you've got the square button three times and then the circle for another two and that will complete the puzzle what's this We should head to Elder Yez's house. Yeah, 